Maine agriculture has been making a comeback in recent years, especially when it comes to locally grown food. There are small farms all over the state growing everything from salad greens to organic meats. But one farm is doing it differently than any of the others and is looking to grow much bigger. 207's Don Kerrigan went to Springworks Farm in Lisbon to take a look. If it weren't for a few traditional greenhouses, you might never know this is a farm. It's actually two. This is aquaculture. Yeah, exactly. Land-based aquaculture. Fish being raised indoors in tanks is somewhat new in Maine, but not unheard of. These are tilapia, a warm water species. We produce about 150,000 pounds of tilapia a year. But these fish do something far more important for the farm than being food on a plate. Their waste becomes food for plants, specifically lettuce, because this is the other part of the farm. Acres of greenhouses, growing lettuce, floating on water. Trevor Kankel came up with the idea that he calls aquaponics, fish and plants growing together in a recirculating system. And we use uh, about a tenth of the water of a conventional field. Um, we grow about 20 times more lettuce per acre than a conventional operation. And we're able to do it all year here in Maine. Trevor says he began thinking about this when he was a kid growing up in Montana, wanting more sustainable agriculture after huge farms dried up a local stream. I built little systems throughout junior high and high school and uh, eventually um, wrapped a business plan around that, uh, selling to local restaurants out of Montana and, and then brought it to Maine. He was just 18 then starting out as a freshman at Bowdoin College. We started out just in uh, 6,000 square feet of greenhouse nine years ago now. Nine years later, business keeps growing. Springworks Farms has close to 40,000 square feet of greenhouse space and 40 employees. Almost all of it happens right here. Tiny tilapia fry come from an out-of-state hatchery, then are raised in tanks on the farm growing to full size in a little under a year. At some point, the fish are sent to market, but before then, their wastewater runs through a special filter process, yeah, right. then feeds the lettuce. These would have been planted, yeah. what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, so the, uh, the, uh, they're, they're in here for uh, about a week and a half. These plants are also a remarkable process. This is romaine, started from seed under grow lights then transplanted into floating rafts in the greenhouse, where, like this Boston bib lettuce, it grows to market size. You'd sort of be surprised how quickly the things move through this space, um, you know, with uh, it being only, plants only being in here about a month, uh, the whole greenhouse is turning over very quickly. And you may have already bought Springworks Farm lettuce in your local grocery store. So if I go to a Hannaford, any place in Maine, am I likely to find your lettuce? Absolutely, yeah, you'll actually find several types of it. He says they harvest and ship several thousand heads of lettuce each day, <laughs> some two million per year. What do you hear back from these businesses? Oh, I mean, I think the most important thing that we hear from our customers is that they really want a local solution to the logistics and the health issues that we see in the broader food system. Emily Donaldson is in charge of business development. As it is right now, about 95 to 97 percent of all of our lettuce is grown in two areas of California and Arizona. And so when our retail customers see the difference in quality and also the benefit of having a regional food option, um, it's nothing but support. We feed the fish, they provide organic fertilizer for the plants out here in the greenhouse and then uh, they use that to grow. And so we get certified organic lettuce out here in the greenhouse and the fish get clean water in return. So far, he says, only a very few other small businesses in the country are doing this. This particular greenhouse is the third one for Springworks Farm. It's only been open about a year and a half and they're already planning a big expansion. The farm has secured financing of $22 million to dramatically increase the size and scope of what they're doing. And when we add the next greenhouse, which construction starts this spring, that's going to be about 120,000 square feet. So 
it's sizable, but we're excited because it's all to meet the demand for local organic lettuce. And more expansion after that, they say. Did you imagine this? I mean, you hope for things. It is amazing at the end of the day to, to appreciate sort of where we've come from, you know, just having a, a three-person team initially to now tens of people excited about what we're doing. It is a fascinating process and business, a symbiotic relationship of fish, plants, and water, which they hope will have Maine known not only for lobsters and blueberries, but also for fresh lettuce. The people at Springworks say they've gotten a lot of support, including grants from the Maine Technology Institute, Efficiency Maine, and from Coastal Enterprises and the Finance Authority of Maine. It's also got individual investors and more financing from Farm Credit and Blue Highway Capital. The organization plans to break ground for the newest greenhouse this spring and have it running by the end of the year.